T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Falcon 9 is on its way to delivering the Dragon spacecraft to the International Space course, Station for its eighth US. commercial resupply services mission. We are about to cross through max Q, it's maximum aerodynamic pressure. It's one of the highest stress states on the rocket. But keep in mind, you are looking at a 70 meter tall rocket about the equivalent of a 25-story building going to space. And that exhaust plume, it's about one and a half million pounds of thrust coming out the aft end of the first stage. Yeah, that chill has begun. You just heard them say that the MVAC chill has begun. That's where we've started to chill down our second stage engine, getting ready for ignition right after separation. first stage will continue to burn for about another 20 seconds, after which we will have main engine cutoff, or MECO. About three seconds after that, we will separate from our first stage, and then the second stage ignition will follow shortly thereafter. into an orbit so we can catch up with the International Space Station. Yeah. So the shot that you see on your screen there, that is the second stage engine glowing beautifully, a golden orange there as it propels Dragon to the International Space Station. You can even see the, the coast of Florida just down on the yeah. bottom over there, right beyond the NASA. Yeah. Exactly. And then the second burn that we'll be looking for is the re-entry burn. And that's exactly as it sounds. It's whenever we fire the engines to slow the rocket down enough so that it doesn't catch fire as it re-enters the back atmosphere. So that you just probably heard. Boost back for stage one has just commenced. So that'll burn for just a few seconds, and we'll hear another caller saying that the boost back burn is completed. Again, this is great news for the first stage landing. Um, the first stage doesn't have a heat shield like the Dragon, so it needs to slow down before it hits the atmosphere. Exactly. So the, the, uh, the fast uh, and hot atmospheric gases don't damage any of the engines so we can reuse it. Yep, and then the last burn that you'll hear us talk about is the landing burn. And if you've joined us on our previous webcasts, you're probably familiar with we try to bring you footage, and so we hope to do that again live as everybody else sees it here as well. So stay tuned. A lot of fun stuff coming stay up. Stay tuned. Boost so far, this mission is proceeding completely nominally as of this moment. Second stage is continuing to power the Dragon spacecraft to an orbit of 300 kilometers by 260 kilometers. You're hearing everyone clap right now because the boost back the burn has just completed. Uh, that meant that the first stage is on its way back to the drone ship. Of course, I still love you. About 300 kilometers off the coast of the uh, of the uh, of the Cape of Florida, 300 kilometers off the coast of Florida. Uh, coming up, we're going to have an entry burn in about a minute or so. 
following by touchdown shortly after that, about two minutes. We're looking at touchdown around the 8 minute 15 second mark. Keep in mind that first stage was going 4,000 miles an hour or thereabouts. It was over 100 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. So we're just about to go into the re-entry burn of the, of the first stage. This is when the first stage slows itself down just before it hits the thick part of the atmosphere so it doesn't damage itself. No. Oh, <laughs> so once the uh, re-entry burn is complete, then we wait for the uh, landing burn, and you'll stage actually be able to see the landing burn as it comes down. To the and that means so what you're hearing now is the crowd reacting to confirmation that the re-entry burn has begun. You can see we're all super excited. Just a reminder, the primary mission to delivering Dragon is still nominal going well, but we are expecting our first stage to come back down and land on. Of course, I still love you, located in the Atlantic Ocean. And we do hope to bring you video. Uh, now, it, there's a chance it may cut out, but we're pretty confident we'll be able to get some good video of the landing today. Now, uh, just to reiterate, um, even if it's not a completely successful landing, every little bit of data counts. This is an exactly. experiment. It's not related to the main uh, objective of today's mission, which is to get the Dragon to the International Space Station. Absolutely. So the data is the most important part about landing these uh, the first stages back on the drone ship. So like we said before, if it ends in a beautiful ball of fire on our platform, that is okay. We're still going to learn a lot from it. So keep standing by here. We'll get you some video stage really, one, really soon. Um, sounds like stage one is going through its transonic phase through the atmosphere. It means it's heading right down towards that yeah. drone ship. Uh, this is we're on track for a, a great landing right now. <laughs> Coming up to get to the International Space Station, you'll probably hear more cheers as those things are checked off.